shots. All right, here we go. Three, oh, get it? Okay. One, the Ville, that's that's interesting because I feel like Ganon definitely wants the Bill for for the yeah. distance closer. You know what I'm saying? Like he's already pretty close. That that nair is gonna cover a good amount of distance too. Mhm. Mm and in this situation, oh. yep. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe talking, it. Okay. We're not talking about hard reads. That's what I'm talking about. Mhm. Mm well, and that's knowing the stage layout too. I was not like I play Ganon casually. Who doesn't? You know what I mean. But I was not ready for that to connect. Going right through the platform of the sword. Oh, uh, roller. I wonder if he couldn't see that he was buried because he's so boring. Oh, there's the classic up throw up there. But uh, yeah, that is an another nature of inkling. Like when they use a splat bomb, it's kind of hard to see what they're gonna do next, just uh -huh. because like. They disappear for a little bit. Yeah, no, that, that's really true. I think, too, Dave Creed's done a great job keeping the debuff up, up, up on Ganon, but there we go. Ganon, uh, Rickles with the anti air up smash, such a strong option. His smashes are so good. In his yeah, game. and they keep you in check, too, because a lot of times you just want to pressure Ganon jumping around him, and then you just throw that up smash. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I'm talking about with the matchup knowledge. Is Rickles knew uh, Dave Crane was going to go for a punish there, and he knew it would work, so he went for the hard punish and a down air, and look at that, 93% already starting off with a down air string, so yeah, Rickles, and that's the thing about Ganon, man, when he hits you, you feel it with the sound, like the bass, yeah. <laughs> the bass, it, it just messes you up, dude. Oh yeah, oh, oh caught out the spot dodge too. Man. I love that play charge is so smart because he can react to a jump, he can react to a couple different things. Like, it's just a good idea um, to not just let it rip right away. Definitely. Okay, roller. Even, nice. Yeah, I was going to say, even, even if he follows up, there's not going to be a KO yet. That neutral is so good. <laughs> I, I think it's so underrated still. I don't know. It's kind of crazy, but here we go. Flat bomb out. Oh, Rickles trying to take some damage here. Dave creates, but this is what we were saying, Shad. It's like just kind of moving around Dan and not getting too close to him. There you go. That's a good punish, and that's going to be a stop. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rickles has not really been respecting the roller that much, honestly. Mm -hmm. He's been getting attacked by it quite a bit. I think he was looking for it right there, honestly. I think he was looking for a roller, and he was just going to pull and smash him. Or, or it's like, oh! oh, that's it. That's got to be game. That's got to be game. Warlock Warlock punch. Yeah, you already know. Oh. oh, God. Oh. That wasn't even close. That was so super <laughs> dead. Now, I'm pretty sure it turned out more like Juan Pizzo both knocked back in his kit, but like a fully charged forward smash, it's got to be kind of close because like you could hold it for a long time. Yeah. Like, I, that definitely, right there, I, think I definitely think that fully charged smash also would have killed, but that's got to be game. That's got to be game. Yeah, you already know. Up to it too. Up to it's a lot. Oh, again, casually, you know what I mean? But I was not ready for that to connect. Going right through the platform with sword. I mean, turn it over. It's so insane. Like, you couldn't see that he hit that. It's kind of a bummer that Ganon is the Captain Falcon clone. Like, I get it, but he's also cut off. He disappeared for a little bit. Yeah, no, that's really true. Like, Falcon with sword and a great card is like, keep that deep up. Because uh, like they disappear for a little bit. That being yeah, said, though, no, I, I do really like true. the changes I they gave to Ganon. Dave creates uh, a great job. Yeah, yeah. like I like, I like the smash attack up on Ganon, but mm -hmm. already starting off with that down he's, there. He's slow. So, yeah, every single Rickles, game is getting closer to Ganon. Man, we hit you like his own character, basically. Yeah, like the ball that gives you the side best man grab. Oh yeah. Oh, speaking of caught up the thing, too. He's still a forward smash. Like the, Gan the, the Falcon Forward. Oh, Rickles trying to tackle some damage here. Dave creates, but this is what we were saying, Shy. It's like just kind of moving yeah. around Ganon, not getting too close to him. Jumping by Rickles, cool to watch. I've got to give credit to Dave Creates. He did have the lead for a little bit. He's definitely playing pretty well around the Ganon. Oh, that's it. It's got to be game. It's got to be game. Warlock Punch? Yeah, you already know. He's going to prey on that opportunity to just destroy your stock. That was a shield break at 45, 47. Yeah, yeah. I think this is another one of those situations where you have to respect like a down B. It's not similar when you're fighting Bowser or maybe even a uh, Yoshi too. Because if you're not sure how to shield it right, it's uh, really easy to break your shield. Mm -hmm. right, there we go. We gotta space those back there. Oh wow, what? that's unfortunate. <laughs> Did you see it? Cl it clanked and he was just held there, and, and the roller just kept going. Dave Create just held it too. That was ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Who would win? A magical footer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, PS2 oh, the nice. stage is already looking a lot better. Like we said, okay. I've got Riggles fighting around the back here though. Like we said, it's gonna be a really good tool 
um, that in in Inklings are going to be using here uh, in pretty much every matchup, especially here. Any matchup you want to stay away from someone, that's such a, such a good option. Exactly. Dan just doesn't have that much mobility, so if you can force him to approach and just kind of run to that back there, it will get a lot of openings. As you can see right now, Oh, but the flame choke tech chase. Oh my goodness. I, so how does Ganymans always know? You know what I mean? How do they just know? <laughs> they just know, dude. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I'll forward though. <laughs> it's dead silent. You just get the paint splatter against his Wait. Oh, I thought he was going to forward throw again. Up there, not enough. Oh, try to wait out an air dodge, but Rickles didn't give it to him. Luckily, though, Dave still has the stage control here. Oh, it's a little bit too oh, slow, geez. but oh, the slight charge. That's what I'm Rickles saying. Is, wow, Dude, nice. That's not the down beat out the roller. That's mm -hmm. going to be a timing thing. Yeah, yeah, it must be where the, where the hip hop kind of kind of connect. It makes a difference. That's the thing with those slightly charged up smashes, man. Uh, up throw, I don't know if you can connect it. Nope. Way too high for that, for sure. He's at 190. Yep. Ooh, edge, edge cancel to the flame show. Nice. Mm -hmm. Clean. These Ganon hitboxes are terrifying. <laughs> this is, yeah, Brickle, Brickle's once. Oh, I guess a big punish for sure. Even an F I think, might have got it. With max rage? Maybe. Oh, Barry? Nothing. Dave's also got to be scared of the uh, the up B at a shield, too. Oh, oh. Heck, he shielded it twice? Man, even yeah. when the roller hitbox was still active, he wasn't able to bury him there. Yeah, Rickles, Rickles is a god, man. I mean, I, I want anybody in the chat to try to play against Dave Creates Inkling with their, their Ganon. I'm sure it won't even go half as well as this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> Rickles, Rickles is maybe the last person I want to play in a bracket. Like, he, he's definitely up there. Yeah, like uh, his set versus Charlie at Frostbite was one of the most terrifying things uh, I've ever seen. I think he beat James at Frostbite too, wasn't that a thing? Pretty yeah. Sure he had yeah, a really good run. Did. Really good run overall. I know he wanted more. Of course, everyone does. But it's getting hard again right now. He's coming through. I think he's gonna close the foul. I just think he's gonna. Yep, that's it. Yep. Forward air, locking it down. 2-0 by Rickle. It creates some good stuff too, though. I gotta give it to him. Yeah. It definitely Rickle. wasn't just a, a steamroller or anything by any means. It just no. seemed like once Rickles kind of had the lead and was forcing these approaches. Uh, Dave kind of got predictable with the, the roller a little bit. Just find that, that opening with Inkling to get the kill once they're out of like, the upper up air range can be just really hard. Well, a good thing, uh, something I gotta give Rickles a lot of credit for too, is his recoveries there. Because we were talking about how Inkling can kind of go off stage or maybe even ledge trap or do any of that stuff, but I don't think we really saw Rickles uh, stuck in the disadvantage too, too much. I uh, was able to, his recoveries with Ganon, it's, I used to say this about uh, Fatality a lot in Smash 4. Like, everyone talks about his offense and how crazy it is, and that's all true. But with these characters, Falcon and Ganon, if you can't recover, you're losing. Like, straight up, you're just going to lose. Yeah. So that's just that's how it's true. Gonna you got to watch how, you know, Slight drifts with the up B, when he burns his double jump, when he decides to up B, the pullback on it, all these sorts of little finesse things that you can do to it. Rickles is very, very good at it. So, well yeah. done in winners, still. Yeah, definitely looking forward to seeing